Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, this particular episode, it's a little different. I like to do um, a how-to video on paper wallets specifically and how to generate paper wallets. So um, what I've done here is I've gotten a computer here. I don't know if you can see that. Oh gosh, it's really... Really tough to see. Hold on. Let's see if I could move this down a little bit more. Well, anyways, I don't know if you can see it here, but uh, what, I've, what I've done is uh, there's it's not internet connected whatsoever. Uh, it's not even connected to any network and the Bluetooth has been turned off and the Wi-Fi has also been turned off. It's hard to see. Anyways, you have to just trust me on that. So everything's been turned off. This is actually a refurbished um, refurbished tough book. Um, I do have another one right there. And um, so this is pretty much a refurbished brand new one. And the only thing I've done is um, on this computer that it's hooked up to the internet, I've already downloaded um, the Waterlet generator app right here, this one. I like this because it's a tough book and it's also still a touch screen. I have to use my fingernail. It's not touch sensitive, it's pressure sensitive. So, there's the, uh, here it is, the wallet generator. Uh, I picked this one in particular because I can use Dash and Litecoin, I can generate those wallets. So once you download it, um, I already downloaded it and then put it onto a external hard drive and then I just hooked the USB down in here and basically moved it over from there so uh, hopefully this is no virus on here but uh, simply you open it up you go into here and uh, this is a Chrome go on to index HTML and it's set up for Chrome which actually this thing already has uh, set up here let me see here uh, let's see here, programs. So this one actually c comes with uh, Chrome. There you go, Google Chrome. Oh. So it already comes with uh, the Chrome. So it has a extension on there. So it knows what, see right here, it says Chrome HTML. So just click on that, and then it'll just extract it out. There you go. And this is where I got it from, Wallet Generator. And you can see the name here, it says... Uh, that uh, it's, it comes directly from that file and I got it from wallet generator and what I did what I did do was I followed the directions and just downloaded the, the thing but here I'll just start another one let's see it's gonna be a while but let's just generate it let's move it around until the uh, this bar gets full it's getting full right there. Okay, and then voila. Now, please do not use this. Uh, this is obviously compromised because I'm showing you the uh, private key, and this is the public key here. Um, so once you got this far, um, you're gonna have to, if you if you want to use this one in particular, I'm copying it, and then. Um, So I'm going over to um, Wallet Details, and I'm going to check the I'm going to check the details of this, make sure it's valid. I got this off another YouTube video, but I'm going to do it my way. And there you go. So it's showing up. There's the public key, and there's the other one that's compressed. I don't know what that means. Let me uh, let me. 
shrink this a little bit so you all can see it. There we go. So there it is. Uh, compress. I don't even know what that means, but anyways, it's there. There's the public key and there's some more information. There's the actual private key right there and all the information for that. And then there's more, more of this other stuff here. Don't know what that is. Anyways, uh, there, there's the private key here that I copied and I pasted. So I just want to confirm that it's good. There's some wallet details. So I'm going to go to the paper wallet. Paper wallet here. And uh, this is where it's a little different. Normally, uh, right here, this is all you would need, really. Um, and what I've done is I've taken some, you know, if you have a, obviously you would have a smartphone here on the back smartphone and uh, what I would do is I would just simply just take a picture right uh, and that's I wouldn't even bother printing out um, that's kind of what I've been doing um, and then basically from there you you can you know just take a picture of this and take a picture of that and that's all you want to do that's fine um, but there is a way that you can put a passphrase on it using the BIP38 encrypt. And so basically you would click on this. And you would, if you want to generate a random one, but we're going to use that same, the same one, which if you look here, let me turn it sideways. If you look here, that is the private key. And then on this side here, I'm going to have to turn it sideways here again. That is the public key. And so if you look here, that's that's the same one that was generated from here, this single wallet right here. Okay. So, um, but what I want to do is I want to put in the, a passphrase as simple as one, two, three, four. Okay. I'm, don't use one, two, three, four, but use, well, I'm, I'm just putting one, two, three, four as an example. And then I'm going to put in the private key which is this and so once you do that which should be this private key here and it will be for this public address key and then uh, I'm not going to even bother printing um, I don't even most printers now have go through they have Wi-Fi printers and everything and plus printers can also um, have memory to what they print so I don't even bother printing. That's why I just take a picture and load it onto an SD card or something like that, or just have a, an old phone or a camera phone or something. You can just have it like that. Anyways, um, I'm going to go ahead and apply, and uh, it's going to take a while. I don't know if you see the screen. Anyways, you see this thing kind of rolling around in here. So it's thinking. It's it's encrypting. Uh, your your passphrase, which is one two three four, but please do not use one two three four. Be a little bit more creative, but you could put whatever you want in there. So I'm just going to let it keep going, and then eventually, okay, it's done. Now, if you notice, it starts with a six now. Let me see. Hold on. Let me see if I can just scan a QR of it so you can see it. Okay. Um, getting in my QR scanner coming out. Okay. Hold on, I'll be right back. I gotta take it out of the case. Alright, hold on. Uh, scan barcode, okay. Okay, I'm just going to scan this. Where is it? There it is. Now this just, it's just a barcode scanner. I just want to show you in more detail. So he starts with a 6 instead of a 5. Uh, so uh, when you get a private key that starts with a 6, there's a good chance that what it is, it's it's a BIP38 encryption with a passphrase on it. So if you look over here, you see in the single wallet, the uncrypted private key is 
is this. This one that's been encrypted with a passphrase is starts with a starts with a six, if you see that. And so from there, okay. Okay, from there, um, what I'm going to do now is basically show you. Now, here is here's some. Of my, I've been making some donations here, so if you recognize some of your your uh, address key here, I've been donating to you. All right. Anyways, uh, this particular wallet will just sweep the entire thing, but I want to show you what it looks like when when you do it. There we go. Private key. There we go. And what's it say? It says here, okay, there you go. You're about to sweep a paper wallet or a coupon. This will remove all coins from that paper to your wallet on this device. When the transaction is confirmed, the paper will be worthless and should not be reused for safety reasons. So um, what I'm simply going to do is, you know, the, the passphrase I put in is, is one, two, three, four. Okay. So I just made it easy. One. I don't know if I put that in right. One, two, three, four. Decrypt. And so, there we go. Now, obviously, there's no. Oh. Okay, let me retry. Maybe I got fat fingers. Oh, oh okay. So, th there it is. So, it, it shows a balance of zero. And so, Obviously, there's nothing to encrypt. Um, on a different one, um, maybe on mycelium, uh, oh, I think on mycelium, um, if you use mycelium, uh, that one will not sweep the entire wallet. It, it, it probably will decrypt it and then scan the private key then you decrypt it with the passphrase uh, same scenario you you uh, same thing you simply in different wallets will will do almost somewhat different things so push the camera and then uh, there it is and then it'll ask for a, a private um, the password so if you think about what this is, this is pretty much very similar to what you have as a Trezor. Okay, very similar. I think the extra hundred dollars is it is it worth it? Um, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, all I know is that this is this is free. This is pretty secure, and it's usually meant as a cold storage. Uh, it may be possible to maybe reuse with the passphrase. You just keep using it, and then you enter the passphrase um, on here, and then you would get. Uh, let me let me try it one more time again. Okay. There you go. There's it's, there's nothing in there. So. Um, but my, my point is that uh, with with this here, you can um, you know you can just keep uh, generating a new key every time. See, just start all over again. All right. So we, if you use that wallet, throw it away, and there you go. Let's just. Do it for a while. Just do it until this thing. I'll do it one more time here. I'll try to do it really quicker too, without explaining. So once you get this, I mean, this is really, really simple. And there, I got a new key. I'm gonna copy that. I'm gonna go to. Uh, let's 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 make sure that there's something really there. Of course, it should be. Okay, there. So it does come out. Go to paper wallet here. 
encrypt and then another one two three four. well I'm just using one two three four as an example you can if you want uh, paste that and then uh, apply and if you again if you if you noticed it starts with a five it starts with a five and so um, I'm gonna apply it one more time and it's encrypting my password into the private key and as soon as that's done and I and this is free people you can I can generate as many as I want one of these and it's not connected to the internet this computer has never been connected to the internet I will not ever probably connect this to the internet um, I bought several of these for different reasons uh, I have another I have like this one I have uh, that one and I have another one and they're the same model they have same operating system this is a I'm using it Windows XP because I got old software that works on Windows XP and I don't wanna I don't wanna be buying another software anyway okay so there there it is again let me um, okay so let me let me scan this again I'll scan it so it, you can see it a little bit better all right so you see it starts with a six and that's uh, so when you see a private key with a six that should tell you there's a passphrase protecting it um, a, just an additional security and uh, uh, the reason I got I, I got several of these is that I can cannibalize I'm, it's getting hard to find these really with Windows XP on it this particular model I have actually had to uh, pay more for these um, and I think in the future I'm going to be paying more just to find another one uh, but I could cannibalize I could take the spare parts and put it onto this as time goes on anyways um, and another thing what it does is uh, if you're really paranoid and really really paranoid uh, you can basically uh, these are also decoys for these things so <laughs> anyways that's let me end this video there and and like I said I don't even print it I just literally just take a picture of this and then put it on an SD drive or some some something else um, some kind of other storage device and that's and you can store those ways and then if you're worried about people scanning this you can it's just real you can just realize that it's protected so there's possibilities that you can um, again, if someone gets a hold of this or or is able to to see the QR code, and they they can't just automatically sweep your keys. They need a password. So you can have multiple copies of this all over the place. You don't have to worry about people getting their hands on it and trying to sweep the keys because they'll need the passcode and in, in order to decrypt the private key, the real private key, anyways. And so it's a good way to have a backup and save your keys. Anyways, uh, this is gonna I'm gonna c conclude this episode. So um, feel free to like, dislike, uh, leave a comment, or even do a video response. Until next time, stay tuned. Bye.